Good morning. I'm appreciative of the opportunity to participate today, and I wanted to share an article that I found, and it was originally published by Jack Griffin in the Chicago Sun-Times. And I liked it because it reminds us that often our actions speak much louder than our words. And so the article is entitled, It's Okay, Son, Everybody Does It. When Johnny was six years old, he was with his father when they were caught speeding. His father handed the officer a $20 bill with his license. It's okay, son, the father said as they drove off. Everybody does it. When he was eight, he was present at a family council presided over by his uncle George on the surest means to shave points off income tax returns. It's okay, kid, his uncle said. Everybody does it. When he was nine, his mother took him to his first theater production. The box office man couldn't find any seats until his mother discovered an extra $5 in her purse. It's okay, son, he, she said. Everybody does it. When he was 12, he broke his glasses on the way to school. His aunt Francine persuaded the insurance company that they had been stolen, and they collected $75. It's okay, kid, she said. Everybody does it. When he was 14, Johnny and his family went to the movies. His father said, tell him you're 13 to get the child's rate. It's okay, son, his father said. Everybody does it. When he was 15, he made right guard on the high school football team. His coach showed him how to block and at the same time grabbed the opposing end of the shirt, or the opposing end by the shirt so the officials couldn't see it. It's okay, kid, the coach said. Everybody does it. When he was 16, he took his first summer job at the supermarket. His assignment was to put the overripe strawberries in the bottom of the containers and the good ones on top where they, shouldn't, where they wouldn't show. It's okay, kid, said the manager. Everybody does it. When he was 18, Johnny and a neighbor applied for a college scholarship. Johnny was a marginal student, and his neighbor was in the upper 3% of the class, but he couldn't play right guard. Johnny got the scholarship. It's okay, son, his parents said. Everybody does it. When he was 19, he was approached by an upperclassman who offered the test answers for $50. It's okay, kid, he said. Everybody does it. Johnny was caught and sent home in disgrace. How could you do this to your mother and me, his father said. You never learned anything like this at home. His coach, his boss, his aunt, and his uncle were all very shocked. <laughs> 